Hi again! So you finished your first six weeks beginner course and you're ready for some more music to play. Um, and one of the, our choices is a bunch of familiar tunes, uh, tunes that people recognize. Um, and I'm going to walk you through. I have a separate video about how to use this database, which um, you might want to watch. The general idea is we've got a le level color key here. And what we're looking for is we have a little bit of the bright yellow, but most are going to be looking for this sort of light beige and light blue color. And what I'm going to do is highlight a few of the choices that we have here in the library. So sometimes when you log in, this might be sorted by tune. Right now I have it sorted by book. You can see everything in one book is in a row and we're in alphabetical order. So what I'm going to start with is Actually, I'll start with the Famous and Fun series. And you can see here, it, I abbreviated it so I wouldn't have to write it so much. So F and F is Famous and Fun. And our level one is the very easiest level that we've got, the most simple. And um, that is a great level to start with straight out of the six weeks. In fact, sometimes we started even during the last couple of weeks. So you can see some of the titles they have in here. And um, we also have a book called the Deluxe Collection for this level that draws from several different books. We, this one comes from the Pops, the Classics, the Favorites, the Rock, and the Duets. And I'm just going to play a couple snatches so you can hear what they sound like. Um, here's Stairway to Heaven. So you have, similar to what you've done in the beginner's class, we have one note per hand at a time. not too complicated. It's a great way to build your note reading skills. The other option we have in these books is once you learn the melody with both hands, you can generally tell your right hand to take over the melody and maybe we'll put it up an octave. And so I'm playing all of those notes now with my right hand and then my left hand is going to play chords and if I don't already have a chord sheet for the song you're playing, we can make one. much more like the original song and you can do that on just about all of the ones in this famous and fun series so that is book one let's just take a peek at the other ones that they have for book one so we have there's more than this in the pop I must have got tired of inputting um, and some of them I thought maybe were a little bit more geared towards children so I didn't put them in there and here's the classics and then if you are finding that book one not too challenging, book two is just a smidge harder. It's probably more important when you're dealing with young children to separate those levels, but I found my adults can generally do the book two if you can do the book one. They're, they're a little bit longer, a little bit more complicated, maybe a few sharps and flats, um, but they're using the same basic notes that we already learned. So you can see the titles in here, and let me see if I have... Book. Oh, here we go. Here's Eye of the Tiger. This is from book two, and this one does have a little bit of hands together. As we get harder and we start adding notes in both hands, you don't have an extra hand to add chords. So then you're kind of limited to just the notes on the page, but both are good. It depends on what you enjoy doing. So what I would encourage you to do is log on to this database and take a peek at all of the choices they've got. And I'm going to highlight just a couple more. So we've got a book called First Pop Songs, and it's got those 
in there. Lean on me, Moon River, Piano Man. Let's see, Unchained Melody is quite a popular one, so I'll play a snatch of that. And again, on this one, we could add chords because you just got one note at a time. So that's the way it's originally written. And if we do a chord sheet and let your right hand play all of those notes. two parts of the page at the same time um, but we would have that all written out so you wouldn't have to worry about that let's see what else is in this book we've got piano man and let's see if I can read the chords and the melody at the time Again, you wouldn't have to do it that complicated. Oops. So we can make it as simple or as tricky as we would like. And we've got Moon River in this book too. So again, here's groovy songs if you want to go back in time a little bit. We've got some nice choices blowing in the wind. I've got you Bay leaving on a jet plane. And I think I'll wrap this up so it's not too long and you can you can take a look yourself at the online familiar tunes database and let me know what you'd like to do.